Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. My name is Hermela and I post YouTube videos related to beauty, hair, lifestyle, home decor, and so forth. If you guys are new to my channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It would mean the world to me. All of the support is super helpful for me, guys. And if you already want to, go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. But today I have a daily vlog for you guys where I will take you along with me. I have some errands to run. Um, this video is actually sponsored by Cricut and I'm so excited to show you a few products that I've already done as well as create one with you to show you how the machine works. I actually am having my cup of coffee here and I made this mug and I'm going to show you in the video exactly how I created it. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with the day and take you along with me. I'm not sure if some of you guys follow me on Instagram, but if you don't, go ahead. It's at Hermela. Um, but I actually made a carrot cake a few weeks ago, maybe a few months. Um, but I feel like making one today just because I have the time and I've been craving something super sweet. So I probably will go to the grocery stores and grab some ingredients that I don't have here and then come back and bake that carrot cake. I just have been craving it all day. Also to keep you guys updated, yesterday I actually got a trim, but I would say more a haircut. I cut off a few inches, probably maybe even close to four or five. My hair was just getting too long. And then after being in the sun in Hawaii, I felt like I got a little bit of sun damage and my ends were absolutely so dry. So it was time to go ahead and chop it all off. The older I get, the more I realize I like volume more as opposed to the length. Um, long hair is cool, but it's just a lot of work and the longer it gets, I feel like the more damaged the ends tend to be, in my opinion, just because they're the oldest part of the hair at the um, the ends, and I can feel it, and it doesn't make my wash and go look good. So I'm not going to do it in this video, so you'll have to stay tuned for the next video when I actually style my hair, but I will show you. Um, it's in a bun right now, and there's no products. It's just, uh, I think there's leave-in conditioner or deep conditioner. I think deep conditioner, I don't remember, but I can show you guys that later in the video. Yeah, so stay tuned for the next one to see how I actually style my haircut. Before I make breakfast, I wanted to show you another way I used my Cricut machine. I actually bought this container from Home Goods, and I wanted to kind of clean up our lovely kitchen cabinet situation. As you can tell, it's super unorganized. It's the same basically in here and over here. Not any better, but. My plan is to actually get food storage containers just like this um, and basically use the Cricut Maker to create labels so it's easy for anyone to go in and know exactly what you're going to pick up. I just think it's cool, um, very cute and very helpful. Um, I like it because it has this side if I want to shake out the sugar or if I want to scoop it out with a measuring cup or something like that. So yeah, I made this using the Cricut machine. I believe I used um, the vinyl material or um, yeah, material and I went ahead and used it as a sticker to apply it. And I'm gonna go ahead and do this for flour, um, some almonds that we have up there as well, and just anything that could be added to food storage containers. So let me know if you guys think that's helpful in your everyday life. I'm just trying to get more organized as I adult and yeah. Anyways, need to make breakfast. I'm gonna make a bagel with cream cheese. I tend to eat breakfast really late. Literally, it's 11.26, but I'm not hungry until then. A bagel a day keeps the doctors away. I love bagels. All right guys, this part of the video is sponsored by Cricut. I'm so excited to show you how I made the Dog Mom mug. First off, I went ahead and bought the mug from World Market for like $2. And now I'm going to show you guys how I create the label. I really love the Cricut Explore Air 2 because it really works with all parts of my life when it comes to home decor, creating labels, or just kind of getting my DIY on. I'm definitely not gonna sit here and act like I'm a pro. I had to watch lots of tutorials to learn how to operate this machine. I went ahead and found the label that I wanted off of the internet and converted it to an SVG file. So I already have the Cricut app on my computer, but I also have it on my mobile device. I went ahead and uploaded the image to my new project, and now I'm just gonna go ahead and manipulate it to get it to the exact size that I need it to be. 
For all of you guys out there who already may have a Cricut, definitely let me know some beginner projects that I can go ahead and try out. I am super, super eager to get my hands on lots of different projects, but I just really like how the Cricut Explore Air 2 is easy to set up and use. One tip that I've learned since getting the Cricut Explore Air 2 is that when I create the image in the app, I like to create a border around it. This really helps to ensure that I don't waste material while cutting and I can save the rest for another project. All right guys, time to move on to the fun part. I went ahead and clicked make it so we can get started on the cutting. It's gonna let me know that I need to have it set on the proper material. And for this project, I am using vinyl. I'm gonna go ahead and switch it there and then we can go ahead and move on to actually cutting the material. Personally, even though I've only done a few projects, I really think the Cricut Explore Air 2 is definitely an investment. It can cut up to 100 different types of materials from iron on, vinyl, and paper to even materials like like glitter paper, cork, and bonded fabric. It's definitely worth it if you love doing personal gifting or if you also like doing personalization with home decor. Alrighty, we're about halfway done. Now that I have the material in the exact size I want, I'm gonna go ahead and load the grip mat into the Cricut Explore Air 2 and go ahead and let it do its thing. And I think it took about two minutes to cut, probably less, I just did not time it. Alright, now that the image is done being cut, I'm using the scraper tool to burnish the image. This will help to ensure that it stays on the back part. And now I can use the weeding tool to go ahead and remove any of the excess vinyl that we don't need. For beginners like me, this part definitely takes some practice. You might mess up a few times at the beginning, but then you kind of get the hang of it. We are almost there guys. Now I'm using transfer paper to get the vinyl material onto it in order to stick it onto the mug. Just like before, when I put the transfer paper down, I burnish it a little bit more so that the image sticks to it when I peel it off. Before I apply this to the mug, I went ahead and cleaned the mug using some rubbing alcohol and a paper towel. This helps to ensure that no other type of material is on the mug when transferring the image over. You can basically call me a professional by this point. <laughs> Let me know in the comment section what other types of projects I should get into, other mug quotes. I'm very, very into it and it's actually quite relaxing. As you guys can tell, some of the cut pieces didn't wanna transfer properly, so I just laid the transfer paper down, burnished some more, or even used my fingertips to press the image down and that helped to kind of ease the process. To be honest guys, I'm so excited to continue making those labels for the food storage containers. I think it's really cute and also helps with being organized. So definitely stay tuned because I'm about to go full OCD on my kitchen and reorganize the entire thing. All right guys, that is how I made my dog mom cup using the Cricut Explore Air 2. I also wanted to show you guys my haircut. It really looks terrible. I haven't really done it since coming um home from hawaii just because i don't think i'm ready to maintain it but when i say it's short it's pretty short but i got a lot of layers so hopefully i will get that nice shaped like circle shape in the back for more volume and i got more bangs but this is my hair with no products and i've also brushed it a lot a lot so i have no curls in my hair <laughs> but I'm very excited that I got it chopped. I just was over the long length and my hair grows pretty fast. So hopefully by the end of summer, it will grow back and be healthy again. Before I jump in the shower, I wanted to show you an even better look at my new haircut. Um, like I said, no products. You can see how like the shape is right there. Long layers essentially. Um, I'm curious to see what it will look like once it's washed styled and dry but essentially i kind of got this haircut last summer um right before COVID happened um, and i absolutely loved it which is why i asked her to do it again just having long hair really you lose the volume in my opinion and i know you guys are gonna think i'm crazy that i have lots of volume but i know my hair best and what i'm used to so when my hair gets long it just weighs down and the curls become loose and not as defined and tight so it was time to cut. 
But yeah, very excited. Let me show you guys the products I'm gonna use in the shower. Recently, I've really been loving Moroccan oil shampoo and conditioner. First of all, the smell not only is amazing when you use it, but like my hair smells just like that for a few days after. <laughs> and it's also very hydrating, like the shampoo doesn't, it doesn't feel like it's stripping all of my natural oils. They're sulfate free and paraben free for anyone who is interested in knowing that. Um, really, really like these products, so I'm gonna shampoo and condition with these guys. Just jumped out of the shower and finished dyeing my hair. I used the Garnier Fructis Leave-In Conditioner and then the Curl Enhancing Smoothie from Shea Moisture and then the Gel from Not Your Mother's. Uh, all three of those products are my absolute holy grails, as many of you guys know. Um, and I might film another video to show you guys my updated summer curly hair routine, but I didn't want to show you guys in that video. But I wanted to give you guys the results after applying the product and now I'm gonna go ahead and diffuse my hair and I will probably be doing that for quite some time. There's also something so nice about styling your hair after getting it cut. The ends just feel so smooth, the product goes in easily and I feel like I can detangle way better um, without kind of having any breakage or pulling out any hair from my scalp. So. Yeah, I just wanted to share that. Let me know if you guys also feel the same way. I tend to get my hair like a big kind of cut right before summer so that I can grow out through the summer and then be long for the winter when I do decide to go ahead and apply heat. Like I mentioned earlier, I went to the grocery store and I picked up some ingredients that I needed to make this carrot cake with cream cheese frosting. I made it once before and I used a recipe off of YouTube and it was amazing and I've just been craving it and I got some ice cream for the side. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm not gonna show you guys everything, but I just feel like baking today and that always makes me happy and I've been having a really strong sweet tooth recently. So I'm gonna go ahead and bake this and show you guys my skills. <laughs> so based off of the recipe, I do the cream cheese frosting first so that can go ahead and rest before I jump into making the actual cake itself. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started on that because the other part is harder in my opinion and I honestly forgot how to, there we go. I think, guys, I got it, got it. Cream cheese frosting is done. And it's taking a lot of willpower for me not to just eat this entire bowl, but I'm gonna set this aside and put it in the fridge so I can go ahead and work on the actual cake and get it in the oven. For the dry ingredients for the cake, I have it all here. I'm gonna go ahead and mix it all together before I move on to the eggs and such. my new brown sugar food storage container and label. Okay, so that felt like forever, but both pans have the cake in it and I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the oven for about 35 to 40 minutes and the oven is set to 350. So I will check in with you guys once they are out and we can go ahead and decorate them with the frosting and then eat it. Before the sun goes down, I wanted to show you guys my hair and the final results after today's wash and go. I literally just got it cut yesterday, so I myself am seeing it for the first time after being styled and I can tell it's really short. Um, probably more, probably shorter than I expected, but I feel like by the end of the summer it will grow back. I have learned not to become too attached to my hair, but I can tell it's super healthy. Um, day one, so it's a little flat for me, and I will fluff it up tomorrow morning. But I feel like it's still a little dry or wet at my roots. Um, but yeah. Okay, looks like the cake cakes are done. Looking freaking good. All right. Hi, Ocean. Want the calito? 
Here is the final result. It is not perfect. It is not pretty. So I'm gonna have a slice now. <laughs> it's kind of leaning. If you guys are bakers, let me know. It always just leans. Excuse me, you crazy kids. Okay, friends, it is pretty late and a uh, random fact, but when I was younger, I was actually taught how to crochet in elementary school because our after school program took us to a nursing home that was nearby and some lovely ladies taught me and I actually was in Michael's the other day and I just felt like picking up a pair of or some yarn and needles and I don't know what I'm making but I think maybe a long blanket I'm not sure or blanket for Bella but anyways I just had to say goodbye to a friend of mine who actually also is a neighbor who I told you guys about Ocean's owner and it just you know sucks to say goodbye to people and I don't know if it's because I'm getting older and it's harder to make friends or when you meet people it just sucks saying goodbye but I know it's all for the best and we will stay in touch but you know let me know if you guys relate I think I I'm probably overreacting, but you know, <laughs> I hate saying goodbye. <laughs> but anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I will go ahead and leave all of the links that I mentioned below in the description box. If you guys haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. It would mean the world to me. I'm just going to be probably doing this for the next 5 to 10 minutes and then call it a night. It, I think it's like 11 o'clock, but anyways, bye-bye.